Among all the qualities that as parents we would like our children to have, discipline and responsibility are the most important qualities that will allow children to achieve a successful life. Unfortunately, these qualities are not easy to instill in them because they require work and consistency. In this video I am going to give you good tips that will help you a lot to raise your children to be responsible and disciplined. First of all, what are the characteristics of a responsible person? Here you have a small list of them. Being dependable, so people know they can count on you. Keeping your word and agreements. Respect your commitments. Doing the things to the best of your ability. Being accountable for one's behavior. Accepting credit when you do things right, and acknowledging mistakes. Being a good contributing member of your family, community, and society. Being responsible is key to children's success, not only in school but in the world when they grow up. Ready for the tips? Let's get started. Tip number one. From a very young age, kids needs a structured schedule and be consistent with it. Creating a schedule from an early age will create discipline in our children's lives. There is a designated time for everything, to sleep, to shower, to play, to nap, to eat, to help at home, etc. Having an everyday routine means more opportunity for kids to independently take on tasks and responsibility. Try to create the schedule while they are still babies so there is no resistance to it. The important benefits of a daily routine for kids. Includes, children will learn about mealtime and other daily routines. Children grasp the bedtime routine, and as a bonus, their internal clocks naturally begin to adjust, therefore, they start to sleep better. They will learn about the family-specific routines like childcare, or in-house caregivers, weekends family activities, etc. They will begin to establish appropriately healthy habits such as brushing their teeth, getting dressed, washing their hands, brushing their hair, etc. Create the time each day that is dedicated to connect and play with siblings and parents. Children will learn and understand about time and time management. Tip number two. Allow your kids to help you with house chores, even if this means more work for you. Children need to feel validated, when you give your son or daughter the possibility to help you, you are not only instilling the good habit of doing something good for everyone in the house, but also feeling fulfilled and happy that he completed a task by himself. What is most important is our encouragement and support as parents, more than the achieved goal. And letting our kids know that we believe in them, while we continue to let them take the reins of independence in their hands, will give them the encouragement to keep improving themselves and demonstrate responsibility. Tip number three. Allow mistakes but teach them about consequences. Children should learn from their mistakes, without having parents correcting or eliminating problems for them all the time. As a mother, I know that is a habit difficult to break, but it is very important to let children experience, make mistakes, and learn from the consequences of those mistakes. Kids are still learning and growing. And making mistakes as part of this process. We can't change that fact, but we can help them learn from their mistakes by getting them involved in solutions, that sends them the message that we believe they're capable of being responsible to. Here you have an example. If your child packs the bag for school each day and forgets his basketball sneakers, then he won't get to practice that afternoon. As much as you want to bring the sneakers to him, don't do it. Hopefully, he'll be more cognizant of remembering his responsibilities next time he is packing his bag. Tip number 4. Show your children that you are a responsible and accountable person yourself. Kids may not always mimic what we do, at least not right away. But research shows that parents modeling appropriate behavior can be far more effective than telling children what to do. In other words, if you show your children that being responsible for your actions is important to you, you have a bigger chance that they learn from you and imitate your behavior because children learn more from the example than from the words. Therefore, if you want your son or daughter to be responsible, it's very important that you are responsible too. Tip number 5. Avoid instant rewards to create responsible children. Children will develop a sense of ownership for any repeated action. 
And this constant communication helps them take initiative in other situations. Praising is essential to instill in your children the need to do what is right, and what can benefit others. Parents are the first people with whom children interact, children need recognition and validation. Expressing your gratitude when they perform a task, or are independent, or help you with something at home, is crucial. But when teaching responsibility, there's a time and place for rewards and allowances. Don't assume a reward system has to be in place for your child to learn responsibility. While a reward system can be effective for some kids, others respond just as well to praise. Save rewards for tasks that go above and beyond what you expect to be your child's normal household responsibilities. As you can see teaching children about responsibility isn't easy, but what part of parenting is? It can take years and lots of practice. But if you follow these tips, you stand a better chance of raising a responsible child who then grows into a responsible adult. Kids need coaching and guidance to develop a sense of personal responsibility. Parents can support their kids by creating an environment at home that increases children's responsibility as they grow and mature. I hope you liked this video, if you did, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more helpful information about pregnancy and motherhood. Thanks for watching.